New Jersey has a lot of pride for all the produce it harvests from tomatoes to corn to blueberries, but it turns out grape harvesting is the fastest growing sector of agriculture in the state. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch visited two vineyards to learn about the impacts of climate change on their crops. Plump bunches of Chardonnay grapes get plucked from the vines at Beneduce Vineyards in Pittstown. Owner and winemaker Mike Beneduce started planting this 25 acre slice of carbon negative heaven in 2009, started pouring for the public in 2012. We strolled the rows while we discussed the impact of climate change on Garden State viticulture. Yeah, one of my favorite quotes is from uh, Peter Liam, who's a like world-renowned champagne expert, and he said, if you don't believe in climate change, you're not a farmer. Warming is actually not a horrible thing for us. What we don't want is this sort of climate chaos that sort of comes with it. Hailstorms, flooding, spring frost. The frost-free date used to be May 15th in this area. In the last decade, we'd ha we've had two or three frost events that were up until May 20th. Beneduce says the change may seem slight, but budding vines are highly sensitive to temperature. Spring this year, we had a way early bud break. The vines at 4JG's Orchards and Vineyards in Colts Neck fell victim to a late frost, says owner and managing partner Janet Junko. A lot of the flowers were burned. Junko planted her first vine on the nearly 300 year old farm in 1999. Her biggest challenge brought on by our changing climate. What we have a problem with, we get 90 degree days and lots of humidity. Water gets trapped in the tightly packed bunches. We start growing molds and mildews. To combat it, she cuts the leaves way back to let air in. When you first started back in 99, was this cutting back of the leaves something you needed to do? No, we never did leaf pulling. In fact, we only bought a leaf puller two years ago. There are stories of resilience um, uh, being displayed by some of the winemakers globally. Himanshu Gupta and Jasmine Spies with Climate AI hosted a tasting in the city Tuesday to bring the impacts of climate change to the table. We discussed hybrid grapes. Grapes that can be more climate resilient. A cross between wine quality European grapes and more hardy varieties. In 2021, France introduced six new wine grapes that could be used up to 10% to make up their Bordeaux blends. Unheard of in recent years. Junko says she's experimenting with hybrids. That's what all these are. They're Chardonnay, hybrid of a Chardonnay with a little thicker skin, uh, a little easier to grow here in this climate. About 10% of Beneduce's crop is hybrid. Wine production, is it in jeopardy because of climate change? I think it's less that it's in jeopardy and more that it's changing. We'll just have to get more creative. People have to have an open mind. An open mind to try wine made from grapes that thrive in a changing climate. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.